Hello, Sandra. Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm okay, and you? Hi, thanks. All right. Is it chilly in your house today? Yes. Yes. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah. I like that weather. Hello, Jaime, how are you? Hello, how are you? All right, Jaime, good. Yeah. Everything good, and you? I'm sorry, class, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. <laughs> because nobody answered. Yeah, nobody's answering. So. <laughs> it happens sometimes. This is how it should be all day, right? I'm sorry? How it should be all day, chilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it should be. Okay, Ruth, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Wow, you sound sad today. What? Are you sad? Uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah, you sound tired. Yes. All right, now we have Sandra. We have hybrid, which I think is Alex, right? It's Alex, correct, Alex? Hello? Yeah. Okay. It's me, Alex. Hello, Alex. Okay. So we have Jaime. Was there anything special today? Are we going to start the number two? No. Well, we have to. <laughs> my, yeah, well, I want to fin. Hold on. What happened to this? One point eight. I don't remember. E. Yeah, we're going to. Um, let's finish the. Uh, well, we did the listening exercise. Yeah. So the lesson uh, objective. Yeah, we'll one, finish one today. One seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, one seven, one seven. Yeah, we're going to study the um, adjectives for behavior personality. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, we'll finish it today. Well done. Oh, there's Carla. There's Ronnie. DJ Ron. Ronnie. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Ron and Coke. <laughs> DJ. Pop music. <laughs> hey, do you remember that? Yeah. Producciones van. Van. <laughs> but with that, do you remember that effect? Van, van, van. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I knew some music. For example, Marito Rivera, the flowers. Brothers. And no, you don't say flowers, brothers. You say complete. Okay. Manu Flores. Yes. Uh, is a name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The, the cocodrilos. You you played with them? Yes. We are, are uh, random. When they rest, I work. I when they 
play music, uh, I rest. Yeah, I dance. You know, I saw one time in concert and really, they were really, really good. Believe it or not, I enjoyed it. It was um, Chanchona de Arcario. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah. Man, they're good. <laughs> they're funny though, but I mean, yeah, but they, they, they were like, they, they, they had, I mean, musically, musically, they, they were, they were good. They played Pink Floyd, man. <laughs> they played Pink Floyd in like in a cumbia style, but I was like, wow, that was good. That was good. Yes. I, I had a friend that. He's a a a, a play a, a, a he play the piano in in this group. Oh really? Yes. You know, but musically when, they they're good. Yes, but when when the the group uh, were in the United States, he yeah. decided to stay here. Yeah, he he, he stayed. Go back. Yes, he don't back himself, but he. Yeah, I think I think they all do that, right? Soccer players, musicians. Ingrid, welcome back. So my kid will Hi. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hi, Ingrid. Hi. Ingrid, I remember. Is your birthday coming or already passed? It was uh, last Thursday, so I have been oh. celebrating. <laughs> oh, okay, happy birthday! How was it? Was it good? <laughs> Thanks. Was it everything you expected? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a big uh, chocolate cake. You know, one time I had a Nutella. Very, very cake. sweet. <laughs> oh, that's like, that's the best cake ever, a Nutella cake. So you had a lot. Oh, okay, good. All right, just chocolate cake. That's it. It was a box of chocolate cake with with um, with some beer. <laughs> yeah. Beer. No, I, I I no because it doesn't <laughs> match. It does. I don't know. No, I don't know. How... You're getting cut off, Ingrid. Yeah. Too. I'm going to try the the. Uh, no, I the 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 picture. I kill him because it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't, yeah, but um, okay. Through the through the cell phone. Okay, great. But you don't say you don't say it doesn't match. It, you say it doesn't go. When it's food. It doesn't. Go. Go. Yes. When when it's food, match is like for clothes. Hey, that doesn't match. Okay. But yeah. like when it's for food, you say it doesn't go. Doesn't go. Like yeah, pupusas don't go with is... beer. Don't go with beer. No. Or yeah. milkshakes don't. Yes. Don't, don't match. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. And beer, yes. Pizza, beer. Yeah. Yeah, pizza and beer, hamburgers and beers. But... Yeah, but milkshakes and pupusas, no. <laughs> no. Uh, milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a friend that. We would go to pupusas. Me only cuadro de fresa. We move with the pupusas. Are you? Are you? Are you mad, man? <laughs> yeah. Please just put the windows down in my car. Yeah. Yeah, but so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when it's food, when it's food, you say it doesn't go. It doesn't go. It doesn't go. What What about it's, with, with clothes? With it's all that doesn't match. It doesn't, yeah, for closest, it doesn't match. Doesn't match. Okay. I'm sorry, a cocktail was, with what? With soda. Uh, I have a friend that he cocktail. Concha cocktails. Concha cocktails. <laughs> with, with soda. With soda champagne. <laughs> yes. With, well, no, you know. With, with strawberry, with strawberry soda. Oh, no, my no, God. Don't. don't don't go, don't go. Or, or, or. but you know i've done that before man i have to because you know sometimes <laughs> you go out and eat lunch with your boss uh, <laughs> and you know like hey have a cocktail okay good and then and then you wait to see what he asks for 
and he has for us so that yeah so yeah um, the same please damn the same but yeah. with a little vodka <laughs> yeah i'm sorry god of cocktails sorry, a, a golden please you know you know one thing one you know one thing one thing in my opinion for me it doesn't go but we salvadorians always eat that is semita and coke <laughs> really yeah. that doesn't go man yeah. yes i understand semita and coffee because you know but when you eat semita and then you drink coke you don't you lose the flavor okay, but what is better is it semita and beer <laughs> oh, man. i have tried that <laughs> doesn't go <laughs> you tried semita and beer i have no. tried the have you ever tried the the little cake with the beer Wow. You know, like at three in the morning, I tried everything. <laughs> it's good, man. One time I tried um, quesadillas with avocado. <laughs> <laughs> we were hungry. Man. Yeah, we were hungry and we had no money. They took well, all my, our money. <clears throat> Once my uh, father meets, um, um, he didn't didn't listen to me when I when I say that I have a I don't know how to say um almibar mm. almibar uh. I I have and I save it in, what is almibar um el dulce el dulce oh. es como una miel con azúcar okay. con agua okay so you say and, it's like a syrup type yeah yes, like a syrup yeah. and it was very transparent and my father didn't listen to me and he cooked eggs in <laughs> and the worst part the worst part that it he ate it oh man i don't know how, how, how cool to that. <laughs> yeah he cooked oh, eggs into the, the side of and he ate it well, I why did he why. eat it? He, he was just too embarrassed to? Or? I couldn't. <laughs> you know, okay, before we start, let me tell I, you yes, one. Thank you, but... Before we start, let me tell you one embarrassing moment I, I had one time. <laughs> let me tell you one embarrassing moment I, I had one time happened. in Pizza Hut. <laughs> I was very young. I think I was like 17 or 18, and I went out on a date with a girl. And I think I only had like $13. So I was actually waiting for the girl to ask first. You know, we had a pizza. Uh, she had a personal pizza. Yeah, do you want dessert? And, you know, yeah, I think I want a, a brownie. I'm, oh, my God, that's like three ninety nine. So I am making numbers <laughs> in my head. I am making numbers in my head, you know. <laughs> And she told me, what about you, sir? Um, no, I'll, I'll have coffee, please. Just coffee. You know, so I remember I was listening, but I was not hearing the girl. I was just listening because I was making numbers You're in number. my head. <laughs> and I, you know, when they served the coffee, I got the sugar and I put it all in. And it wasn't the sugar, it was cheese. <laughs> Did you know the cheese? Yeah. Professor is sleeping right now. Oh. <laughs> the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I, I, and when I drank it, I, oh, that's the most horrible. Like, and I look at it and I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, you know, and then if I say, excuse me, uh, you know, and they would tell me, oh, no problem, we'll change it. But that's another coffee. So that's like another $2. <laughs> and you know what I did? I finished it. I actually listened to her the whole night. I'm like, oh, really? Oh. So when I would drink it, I wouldn't breathe. And when I took her home, she, she told me, can I ask you, why did you drink your coffee with cheese? <laughs> and, I said, you, and I said, you noticed? Yes, I saw you put cheese in your coffee. Why'd you do that, Amal? Oh my God, because I felt stupid. I was embarrassed and I didn't want you to think I was stupid. And and that was, you know, her reaction was, oh, uh, you did that for me? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and actually, no, I wasn't going to tell her because I couldn't afford to ask for another coffee. 
Mm. Yeah. So I had coffee with cheese. That I'm, <laughs> that goes in my record. <laughs> All right. Let me see. All right. Let's listen to the lady now. Um, what we're going to do here is adjectives for behavior personalities. Remember last time in. I don't know if it was in this course or, or last course, I told you about your teens, your 20s. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Remember I told you your early, mid, and late? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it was with you, Ingrid, remember? Yeah. Yeah, remember I told you that sometimes when you don't want to give your age, you just say, um, or, or you don't know somebody's age, like in El Salvador, if we ask, how old is Bukele? People would say, no sé, 39, 40, you know. But people are, they give an exact number. And in English, you can say, um, maybe he's in his late 30s or early 40s. Yes. How old is um, ex-president Sanchez Seren? I think he's in his early 70s or late 60s. Yes. But, you know, that's how you say it in English. So when, when we say in your teens, in your 20s, do you know what your teens are, right? Yeah. When do teens start and when does it finish? 10 and 19. 10 and 19? Mm, no. 19, 19 yes. Yeah. Between 19? 11 and 9. 11. No, no, so, check it out. 13, check it out. It's very 13. easy. Yeah, exactly, 13. 13 and 19, yeah. yeah. Everything that finishes in teen is your teenager. Yeah. Teen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. 16. So it's actually from 13 to 19. Your teenage years, the best. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Well, no, I think my 20s were the best, but I, everything was good. In the early 30s. Yeah, you know, mid, but you know, mid, mid 20s, it was very scary. I was, I was out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. okay it's, cor it's correct to say the late, late 20s, th late 20s, things. Yes, late early, early 20s. Early 20s. Yes, it's mm -hmm. correct. Okay. Who's talking right now? Me, Ronnie. He was running. Oh, Ronnie. Okay, you, the light didn't come up. Okay, look. Um, let's say 20s. When mm -hmm. you're in your 20s is when you are from 20 to 29. Okay. So you divide your 20 in three. 20, 21, 22, 23 are your early 20s. 24, 25, 26 yeah. are your mid-20s. Yeah. 27, 28, 29 are your late 20s. My DJ job finish on mid-20 mil. In your mid-20s? Yes. Mid -20s. Oh, man. Yes. Right at the <laughs> climax. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... Uh... No, but it's cool. Yes. It was a good experience. All right, let's listen to the video, okay? Please tell me if you could hear. Let me share them. So, how did you behave in your teens, in your 20s, and now? And what we're going to do is adjectives. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Okay, good. This was an example. I mean, but you know, there are millions and millions of adjectives, right? Yeah. Negative and positive. 
I don't know the uh, the meaning of naive. Naive, um, I'll be honest with you. Se lo voy a decir mejor en vez de explicárselo. Es ingenuo. Ingenuo. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's something I never was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was very naive. Okay, so um, let's see. Ingrid, how are you? How were you in your teens? Uh, I was very curious and I have troubles with that because I was a kind of disobedient. <laughs> okay. So I have... didn't look like a headache for my mom. I'm sorry, you didn't what? I did, I was a headache for my mom. Oh, okay. So you were like a rebel. <laughs> I was a kind of rebel, yeah. Oh, okay. I escaped from my home to see my, my friends and I didn't say anything. What else? Yeah. No, I, I didn't have, a, I didn't have a, a, too much boyfriend because it doesn't, too many. It, it doesn't my style. No, no, because I um, I was very curious and and I didn't like uh, orders in that time, but I tried to smoke <laughs> in my thirteens, <laughs> but it, it didn't like it. Smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I tried okay. it when I was thirteen, and and I was to I like it to go to the parties in that time. Okay. But I was, but I was, I was, uh, um, I studied too. But I was very, I was very dedicated to my okay. studies. That's good. You know what you're telling but me? It what, didn't, you're, it... what you're telling me is like normal, but now that's very dangerous for somebody to do now. With today, right? Yeah. In that time, it wasn't, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, they, and, and, and I, I say I'm going to to my sisters, but it, the 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 reality was I was to my friend's house, and I didn't say. And in that time, um, my friends um, prepare clandestine parties. <laughs> oh, those were the best. And in, in yeah, yeah, and I tried smoke, but it didn't like it. I yeah. don't know. I'm, why. I'm sorry, Ingrid. How old are you? If I may ask, I am in my middle thirties. <laughs> You're in your mid thirties. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I was in a year in nineties. You know, in the nineties, oh, good. No WhatsApp, no cell phones. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, no media. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why I wanted to ask you. So it, that's why maybe it was easy to be like that when in your teens because there were there were no tools, so your mother can call you. Where are you? No, <laughs> no. but uh, he uh, punish is castigo. Yes. No? Yes. And I I I have a. It, You're getting cut off, or I'm getting cut off. Like, Need to oh. cut out, cut out to... Yeah. Okay, Ingrid, you froze on us. My camera is working here. Mm, now it is. It's kind of like slow motion. Yeah, but I think it's my internet connection. Okay. All right. Um, it, okay, Ingrid, can you do me a favor? Can you ask somebody uh, the same question? How are you in your... 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s? No, I don't think no one here is over 50. How were you? Gio. <laughs> mm, oh, man. Uh, is, he's uh, frozen, I think. No, oh, I, I don't see him froze yet. Ask the question. Maybe we can hear it. The correct answer is, the correct form is, how were? You know, it, as long as it's past, how were you, what did you do in your 20s? 
-hmm. where did you party in your 20s, in your teenage years? Oh, okay, Gio. Why did, what did you do in your 20s? What did I do? In my For 20s? fun. For fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for fun, I remember uh, I'm, what I do for fun in my 20s, I'm going to parties. I work to parties. I went to parties. Yeah, I went to parties. I went to parties with my friends and I like to went to concerts and I used to I remember going to the went to the <laughs> the Stress Diablos bar. <laughs> yeah. At that time. I remember okay. I visit, visited the 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 that bar in front of Cristobal Colon. San Cibar? Yeah, the San Cibar bar. San Cibar yeah. bar. Yeah. So you, you used to be very outgoing. Yeah, I was very outgoing, yeah. Okay, so that would be an adjective right there. Outgoing. Going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oops. Outgoing. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. Ask okay. somebody, please. You know what, Gio? Just, mm -hmm. just FYI. Do you know what FYI is? FYI, it's like, like the do it yourself. <laughs> it's like something like. Yeah, it's it's an acronym it. like LOL. But yeah. when alguien dice, oh, you know what? FYI, for your information. For your information. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, say FYI. I was in the tormenta toxica. Hey, do you were there? Yup. <laughs> they were one of my friends. <laughs> he was there at the beach? Yeah. Oh man, that that, that was crazy. That's yeah. how that's how liberal I was. It was it was in the Matecampo, right? Yes. <laughs> I remember mm -hmm. that. Oh yeah. I remember All my friends I, were arrested. Um, yeah. A lot of it was like rich rich kids. It was funny. <laughs> All right, Gio, ask somebody please. Um let me ask. Are you going to ask Ronnie? Ronnie Caballero. Hi. Gentleman Ron. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Did, you, did, you, did you play a, a musical instrument? Yeah. <laughs> but I play which my, one? My first one is guitar. Yeah, play the guitar. guitar. Rock, you said my guitar. first one, so what is your second? El, el, electrical rhythm. Uh, my second, it would be the the drums. Oh, okay. Yeah. The drums is my first. Yeah. And it's it's the cool. only. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have videos of your band on YouTube, Gio? Uh, yeah, there are some, some there, yeah. Nightwish, right? No, <laughs> no, it's witchcraft. I wish that. <laughs> <laughs> witchcraft. Uh, yeah, it, it were witchcraft, but uh, that's the oldest because it was in the nineties, ninety five. So, so if I want to see a video of yours on YouTube, what do I do? What do I put? Um, I don't. I don't recommend you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you played drums for, for Chayanne. No, I play the guitar. You, you music. I play yes. the guitar. That's the main. You're looking for you're looking for Gio music. You, I, but you don't want to see, Gio. You going to see something something very uh, scary, dark, dark. Yeah. Oh, now I want to see it. Yeah. Send me a link, all right, on Facebook. I want to see your videos. <laughs> yeah. I, that, that, yeah. I want to see that. That's cool. Now I really want to see it. <laughs> hey, that was in my 20s, and I was crazy in that time, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, I, well, I, I, I really want to see it now. Okay, so ask somebody, please. Okay, okay. you know what? Okay. Not necessarily about your past. Not necessarily about your past, because what we're studying here is adjectives. Um, so one, you can ask, hey, one, how was your boss? Ah, okay. Or you can, if you um, want, you can talk about like 
famous people, political people, mm. <laughs> without okay. getting into an argument, just like a normal conversation. <laughs> hey, okay, Ronnie. Okay, so uh, how how are your your um, job life? Let's see. My how do you doing your work? Uh, how is your uh, life in there? Well, I have um, I had two two jobs in my whole life. The first, you know, is a, a DJ, but my yeah. Actually, I I am um, computer engineer. It's a co it's a contrast yeah. of my <laughs> job because yeah. the DJ job is a, a funny, but it's tired too because you. So you, it's tiring, okay. Yes, it's so tired because it's I. Sometimes I have to. To have to three parties in the same day, is very tired. Yeah. Uh, but in but in the actually I I have an an, an office and I, I stay uh, sit all day. I think I so how how would you describe it? Uh, boring? Mm, not boring because <laughs> when you when you. When when I I I I feel that my job is a routine because everything is so it's very monotonous. Fine. Yes, and, and I I felt that I lost my joy, enjoy my work. Oh, you lost that feeling for yes because the love for work monotony and all monotonous all, all, all machines do it. Do is his work, and yes. I just try to super, super, oh, supervise it. That, supervise yeah. that all. So all you just, I, I definitely, I understand you there. Yeah. All okay. right, cool. Let me, let me see this. Um, Jaime, uh -huh. listen to how I, how I ask the questions. You know. Okay, so listen to this question, class. Jaime. How would you describe Donald Trump? Describe Donald Trump is a um, very trouble, trouble people. He's a is is a trouble man that the, we have. He's a troublemaker. Troublemaker, troublemaker in politic, in politic that the in most 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 of the time the the. the, the he has attacked to the other poli other other, other politicians. Politician. So that's how you that's how you would describe him. Like he's a troublemaker, correct? Troublemaker, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I would describe him like he's a very interesting character. Yeah. yeah. Because every time you know, sometimes when I see Donald Trump on the TV, I watch it because I know something interesting is going to happen. Good or bad, but he's funny. All the time you are inventing fake news or whatever, no? Yes. All right. Okay, good. But did, did you see what I asked or how I asked? I asked you, how would you describe... Yeah. This is a... Uh, Ingrid, this is a job question. When you interview somebody or when you are being interviewed, that's a typical one. How would you describe your job? How would you describe the company? How would you describe your pre previous job? So remember that. How would you? How would you? How would you? How would you describe you? To yeah. Okay. Like, watch. I'm going to ask another one. Claudia. Hi. Hi. Um, Claudia, do you work? Uh, no. No. You have children, though, right? No, I do work. I, I do not have a paycheck. You're a full-time mother? Yeah. How would you describe your job? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have three kids. Oh, my so, God. <laughs> 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 the youngest is seven months. So my day is very busy. So I, I would describe my job stressful. I would describe my job stressful, 
Lucy. Uh, Have you ever cried? Almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I understand. I mean, I have only one son, and and it's yeah. amazing, man. It's, it's stressing you, huh? It's yeah. very stressing. But at the end, now with three. It's joyful. Joyful. Oh, yes, I did. Joyful. It, to watch them and, and know that I am making the three persons happy. Of course, yes. Yes, but it's very stressful. You're right. And I, I can't imagine that. Really, you have no time. You, you have to be watching them every mm -hmm. second. And if I don't turn on my camera, it's because I'm breastfeeding my baby. <laughs> oh, man. So you have a seven-month-old? How about the other two? How old are they? Six-year-old girl and a, and a boy, uh, 14. Wow, okay. Well, at least the boy can help you sometimes. No, he does. Uh, he's my uh, right hand. Cool. House, house, All right. House, how do you say limpieza? House cleaning? The house? house cleaning. He's my right hand. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. All right. Ruth, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Ruth, um, you work in Sa in um, San Salvador, correct? Yeah. And where do you work? Uh, the company, the name, the company name is Red Cell. It's what? I'm sorry. Red Cell. Pretzel. Uh huh. Red Cell. Uh, it's about um. It's not pretzel. IT, pretty much is IT service. IT, yes, yes, IT. All right. How would you describe your boss? My boss. <laughs> My boss. Sometimes <laughs> they can't leave. <laughs> Sometimes what? I'm sorry. They can't leave, um, but if we don't, don't. Uh, don't make, oh, yes, don't do the, uh, don't do the, well, the, the word, or he's very angry. <laughs> and, he's, and, he's very angry? Um, yes. Okay. Um, but, but I, I think it's, it's more very, very polite, very kindly. Okay. It's more than angry. Oh, that's good. That's good. Marvin. Thank you, Ruth. Marvin, are you there? Yo, Marv. Hello, Marvin. Marvin, how would you describe the political scene in El Salvador in this moment? So I think... Do you understand my question? The political scene? is something like... Uh, Seeing us from a scenario, you know. Like. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I confuse with with pecado. No, okay. Yes, the, the scene I think is um totally political situation, right? And it's normal. This is when past, right? And for example, do, you, do, you, do you think it's more normal now than two years ago? Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe with uh, different tools in this in this time we have uh, uh, social media tools, right? And yeah, that's true. These powerful tools and they manipulate the person, right? It's too heavy. Right? Good. Yeah. Well, I, I think I think that people now are more interested in in politic, in national po politics than before. But I think they're more interested just to see the fights. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. it's, it's, more, it's more better, yeah. The people really enjoy that part, but don't, don't search the truth. Don't search the reality, right? Yeah. yeah. Although I don't think we will never know the truth. <laughs> that's because the, the social media. Yeah, that's true. 
All right, cool. Carla, how are you? I'm doing good. Carla, you work in the bank, correct? Yes, I do. Okay, tell me, do I watch too much television or too many movies or is true all the um, security things that you have in the bank? Mm. Like, do you have a panic button? I don't work uh, with clients. Oh yeah, you work in the office, right? Uh-huh. And... I don't really, I really don't know if they have panic button, but I think they do. They do. What about I the money that explodes? I don't know that either, but I think that's real. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I watch too many movies. Yeah, with the I, point I break. I really don't know. Yeah. I, I never <laughs> seen that before. Oh, okay. You know what I, I was thinking? I heard the people that, that, there is like tricking the MTM machine mm -hmm. and immediately the security wards like arrest them and then uh, the police force just get very quick. You know, you we're know, talking about money. But yeah. That's why. You, you know, I'm surprised that nobody robbed the bank in the, in the pandemic. Because now uh, actually there was a uh, many intents, many tents or of robbery but in El Salvador not, or not not in San Salvador in like in the interiors like rural Oh really? Uh agent, agents, uh huh. Agencies. San Salvador is not a common thing, but maybe like for example San Miguel, Morazan. Hmm. Yeah, and the reason, yeah, the, the reason why I'm telling you is because now you can literally go in with your face covered. Yeah. <laughs> Remember before uh -huh. the bank? Yeah, you yes. can go now. I, I can go with a like face and a mask, and nobody will ever see my face. And you know, say, but that. maybe, mm. maybe we are uh, the cameras mm -hmm. are like HD definition, most of the cameras. No. So even even you don't go like if you go with the mask, they can see your your clothes very well. Maybe some ID you show at the or oh, okay. Yeah, eventually they will follow you. In some banks, it's not allowed to wear a cap. Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. You wear a cap, they 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 say you take off your cap take off your cap is true yeah <clears throat> yeah okay so um how would you describe your job carla me yeah ah my job is careful sometimes we have short uh short time to to give response and uh, sometimes they like it's, it's a rain of work uh, some weeks. We don't, uh, what I do, it does not matter if, if it's the end of the month. Sometimes some agents are busy at, at the end of the month. But I can be busy every day. Actually, in this pandemic time, the work for me has not stopped. Uh, yeah, I bet. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Alex. Alex, are you there? Yes. Alex, what music do you listen to? Um, electronic music. Okay. Okay, good. Um, you know what, Alex? I'll be honest with you. I don't understand electronic music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've tried, I've tried, you know, sometimes I watch videos and I say, okay, I want to, because sometimes I see the DJ doing a lot of things, yeah. like, but I don't see the, I don't see like, I don't hear the music change. You know, I see the DJ like doing, oh, yeah. yeah, but, right. but I like watching sound. like, like in Europe, man, those festivals, it's crazy. Yeah. 
but I, I, I don't understand it. It's like golf. I don't understand golf. And I watched it like, okay, wait a minute. And I said, no. <laughs> no, I don't understand. Okay, now, how would you describe reggaeton music? Well, I would describe reggaeton music as... Uh, imagine, uh, uh, imagine somebody from Asia, they, they ask you, Alex, what is reggaeton music? How, how would you describe that? Well, I would describe reggaeton music as a sort of serious type of music. Or I'm even, sorry, uh, as what? I don't know. Is it, it is correct? Sexualized or sexualized? Sexual, sexualized. Thank you. Okay. Sexualized type of music, and also as um, egocentric music. You can say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. We we can use the word popular in English with of the course. same meaning uh, that we have in Spanish. Yeah, popular. Yeah, that that's where the word pop comes from. Pop music, popular. Okay, it's a popular music for young people. Oh, okay, good. Because, like, for example, in the '90s, salsa was pop music. Now it's reggaeton pop music. Yeah. Okay. I think that is called it Urbano. Yeah. Like Osuna, Balvin. Yes. Um, it's it's such horrible music, man. Yeah. You know, you know. I don't I, like the voice of Camilo. Of who? Of who? Camilo. Who the hell is Camilo? I don't like. Uh, it's, it's the same line of um, Balvin. I don't like the voice. It's I I don't know. For me, it's very disgusting voice. I don't really? I don't yeah. like it. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It, it has a funny. I funny has a funny mustache. I I think it's very ridiculous. But it's my ah, opinion. Camilo. <laughs> Camilo. Yeah. Camilo. Ah, Camilo. Camilo. I, yeah. I, he... I, I I think I saw the I saw him. Is the guy who he had married the the. The girl from Montaner. Yeah, yeah, he sings yeah. with every uh, uh, with the the brothers of the, the yeah. daughters of Ricardo Montaner. Yeah, I saw him. Gio, yeah. you have Ricardo disappointed Montaner. me so badly. No, because <laughs> I have to understand. I have to to look everything yeah. about. Yeah, agree. About agree. agree. Yeah. <laughs> <I can do>. <laughs> <laughs> All of that. <laughs> okay, whatever, Ricardo, but no. Ricardo Montaner, son-in-law. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I, I, I like it. I remember Ricardo Montaner had a, he had good music in his time. Oh, okay. It's too funny music. <laughs> you know, I remember a long, long time ago. Remember that song, El Gato Volador. <laughs> and, and I remember in that time I said like, oh my God, this is the stupidest song ever in the world. And I don't think, and I said, okay, music is over in Spanish. Ya no va a salir nada peor que esto. Oh my God, look at now. I mean, Gato Volador is classic. I like it now. <laughs> Compared to... The... La gasolina, teacher. Yeah, gasolina. You know. Now I like it. Taxi. <laughs> Actually, oh, bad boy. That was Pitbull. Yes, shake it, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. All right, uh, Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Beatriz, how, how would you describe the weather in El Salvador? I think it's very interesting. You can you can enjoy it because we have different estaciones. Different during, periods. Different period during during the year. Sometimes we have a lot of rain, but ten or twenty minutes after. We have a a brain song. Okay. And sometimes the weather is uh, 
windy, but all the time you can enjoy. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. And let me see. And we have Laura, right? Yes, teacher. Hi, Laura, how are you? Fine. Laura, are you married? Yes, I'm married. How would you, how would you describe your husband? Uh, Is he around right now? No. All right, so <laughs> let it go, man. <laughs> let it go and be honest. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Honestly, my husband is responsible, is kind, um, careful. He's next to you, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's handsome. You forgot to say he's very handsome. <laughs> Okay, no, that's good, you know, that, that's good. All right, thank you. Alexander, are you there? Hello, Alexander? Hello. Hi, Alexander. Hello. Hi. Hello. Alexander, can you tell me, how would you describe this pandemic situation right now? Um, in my case, uh, uh, nothing is, is equal in my case. Uh, do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Those are uh, adjectives, real, fake. Yeah. Sad. Family, uh, 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 hello? Yeah, I think you have a fan on, correct? Oh. Hello? Yeah, I can barely hear you. Hello. See, teacher. Okay. okay My cool. family, I, I suffer from the virus in the USA and your. Uh, is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Excuse me. You said my family, I suffered from the virus in the USA. So you got the yeah. virus in the United States? Yeah. You were in the United States and you got the virus? Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. I think we lost you, Alexander. No. Yes. No. Okay, Alexander, I think we have a bad connection. But I think what you were trying to tell me yeah. is that my family in the United States has suffered the COVID. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll come back to you, Alexander. Beatriz, are you there? Yes. All right, Beatrice, are you married? Yes, I am. Is your, is your husband next to you? No, he's in the living room. All right, describe Superman. What is Superman's name? That Camille, uh, all the women are crazy about him? Henry, Henry. Oh, uh, yeah, you see. Henry Camille. <laughs> okay, yeah, describe that man, Beatrice. Camilo? No, I, I can understand. You know the actor ah, from okay, Superman? Okay. Yes, I know. Yeah, people always confuse me with him. I. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I. Well, I think he's handsome. He is handsome. Uh, yes. He looks interesting. Okay. Um, I think he is smart too. But he's not Rambo. Mm. No, it's not Rambo. Rambo would break him. <laughs> no. Yes, 
<laughs> John McLean would break him. <laughs> yeah. No, my, my my wife is crazy about him. And I say, really, man, this is the new handsome in my time? You know, women like like manly, manly face, you know. Yeah, so, manly face. yeah so what happened to John McLean and Rambo? I prefer Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that expression. I, no, he, no, no. In my opinion, he is handsome, but he tries too hard to be, to look like a, you know, like he's tough, but you know, you, like every, mm -hmm. yeah. He he's not natural, but he is handsome. I mean, yeah. I I like his wife. Is uh, I prefer just. I'm sorry. No, teacher. I prefer just Jason Momoa. Okay. Uh, my my man crush, my man crush. <laughs> I like um. <laughs> yeah, you know, man, we have crush. I I think uh, I like Robert Downey Jr. I always like because I liked him since I was little. I I liked all his movies. He's a very good actor. Yeah. Good actor. Do you like Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah. Iron Man. Yes. Yeah, in Iron Man. Yeah. No, <laughs> but you should. Actor. Did you ever watch Chaplin? Chaplin, yeah. No. Man, that was. Yeah. I think he won an Oscar for that. And Sherlock Holmes, too. Yeah, that is a yeah. very no, good movie. There, there's a movie from, I think it's from the 90s. It's called Less Than Zero. It's very, very heavy man because he was like in drugs in the movie he was a teenager in drugs and it's it's very strong movie but he's a good actor now you know then now recently he, he's like a popular actor yeah. like iron man which are very entertaining movies but they don't have the quality that he's a he's a great actor and you can see that in in chaplin watch charlie chaplin there are some scenes that you don't know if it's really Charlie Chaplin or it's him. It's, it's very good. All right, do you still see my screen, class? Yeah. Yes. All right, so listen to this. Expressing regrets and describing hypothetical situations. I should have paid. That's so funny. this is when you say, I should have. I should have. Should have. Yes. And you can contract that. Yeah. I should have. Should have. Mm -hmm. Should have. Yeah. Should have. You know, like when you have a terrible relationship, you, you know, maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and, and you know, your friends, oh man, they're cool. They're cool. They're cool. And then when you break up because then your friends tell you, you should have left her, man. She was bad. Oh yeah. Now you tell me. <laughs> Those are those are hypothetical situations. Okay, let's look at this. Okay. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle comma, subject, plus could, or would have, plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, 
if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's do a, let's do a regret. Remember, let's keep it simple. Tell me I regret that that you have. Please don't tell me like something dramatic. You don't have to, it, I mean, the, the regret doesn't have to be something, dra you know, dramatic or like, oh my God, you know, just like, oh man, I should have bought those shoes. I should have bought that, you know? Okay, so let me see. Um, Claudia, can you tell me a, a regret you have? I shouldn't. I shouldn't have eaten that hamburger. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to explain the regret because. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, I but understand. You can like, imagine. <laughs> yeah. That's like saying, oh my God, I shouldn't have drank cold water after that chuco. <laughs> <laughs> <Up in their windows. laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, those are those are regrets. Like, oh my God, what happened? Nothing. I shouldn't have drank that water after the juco. No, okay, good. All right. Um, hi, Mickey. Can you, I'm sorry. Elote. Oh yeah, told elote. Hi, Mickey. Tell me a regret. Remember, it, it it could be I shouldn't have. That was a very good example, Claudia, because in in, in the video they didn't say a negative, and you did, so that's good. It can be negative or positive. I mean the sentence, but it's a regret. Hi, Mickey. You tell me about a regret you have. Uh, if I, if I, no, not hypothetical right now. Just, just a normal regret. regret and then it, we'll do the hypothetical. Yeah. I had, had, it, yeah, it's a regret, but I, I had no. I had sure, I had sure, shouldn't, I had sure study. English. I should have studied. I should have studied English. If I had uh, time, if I could have time to, if, if I had, if I could have. Uh, okay, time okay. Um, yeah. To, okay. to study, the, to study the, when, I, when I was the, uh, younger. Okay, good. But remember what I told you, don't complicate it and keep it simple. So you, you just say, I should have studied more English when I had the time. When I had the time. When I had the time. It's when nice. I had the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because right now we're, we're, we're talking about regrets, not about um, clauses, you know. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I should have studied English if I hadn't, et cetera, et cetera. All right, Ingrid, let me see about a regret you have. Yes, I have one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I shouldn't have bought a blouse in marketplace. Oh, why? What happened? It was. It was a, a blouse for Winnie Pooh. It, it, was a... my, it doesn't fit for me. It, it oh, looks yeah. like so me like a Winnie Pooh shirt. It's too tiny. <laughs> oh man! Oh okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, you should have I bought felt, that. I felt like a Winnie Pooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Carla. Carla, imagine I ate something and it's very spicy. And I say, uh, oh man, this. Is hot. Oh. Oh. Oh man, why? What man? But I'm eating Mexican food. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so what, what would you what what would you tell me? Hey, you should have asked. You shouldn't have tried that tortilla before. Okay, good. You shouldn't have tried that tortilla, but but remember, I I I order tacos. So, uh, you know, innocent me, I started putting everything. Maybe you could have told me you should have tried or asked before. You should have asked the waiter if that was hot or not. It's like, 
You have should you, have tried just a bit. Exactly. Okay, that's very good. Yes, you should have tried. Have you ever been to a pupuseria when they give you the, you know, the pupusas and you start eating and you put sauce? Mm. And then the sauce yes. is hot. Yes. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind. I like hot, but some people don't. Yeah. And you know, that's what that's when you you know, you tell people you should have told us, hey Pika. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes people put it on their children, you know, Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know, and, and they don't say, Hey, it's hot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you know, that's you know, you should have said, Hey, it's a Pika. <laughs> All right. Ronnie. Hi. Hi. So um so what happened with the contract with David Guetta that you said no? <laughs> David Guetta. <laughs> what is the other one? Uh, Aoki, Aoki, right? Steve Aoki. Mm -hmm. Steve Aoki. Yeah. David yeah. Guetta is a, a good DJ. He came to El Salvador, no? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I don't have a preference uh, of kind of music. I I like a lot of music. It depends on my feel mm -hmm. in this moment. I like to listen, for example, heavy rock metal or rancheras or cumbia. It depends on the situation or, mm -hmm. my, or how or, or I Or what feel. you're drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're drinking I don't that. drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me a past regret then. A past regret. I I shouldn't I shouldn't marry in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything that I did. Wait. <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten married. I gotten married in my twenties. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> I hope your wife is not near. No, she's in, okay. not in the house. <laughs> she's in the <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in the room. <laughs> the panic room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I should have gotten married. Okay, that's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you know, it's true. Yeah, I understand. All right, Ruth, give me a regret you have. You know, like, like, you know, it doesn't have to be something complicated. I mean, it could be something simple like hmm, pizza or chicken, pizza or chicken. That always happens. Happy I'm a boy. Okay, let's see. And oh, man, I should have asked for pizza. Mejor. You know, when everything is done, then you say, man, we should have asked for pizza. Yeah, no, hold on. As I told you, what do you want, pizza or boy? You said chicken. <laughs> you know, I mean, it could be something simple. I mean, just a simple regret. Um, <clears throat> if I have a wife say hi with my ex boss birthday, <laughs> maybe I, I, I would, uh, know some, some best. <laughs> I, I really know. couldn't hear you that clearly. I couldn't hear you that clearly, mm -hmm. but look, like, let me tell you uh, okay. a personal experience. One time I met Scarlett Johansson and she asked me for my phone number and I didn't want to give it to her. So I should have given it to her. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, um, okay, here's the secret. One time I had a girlfriend and we had a very serious relationship and she asked me to marry her. And I said, no. Why did you? I, I was like in my mid-20s. I, I didn't want to get married. And now, <laughs> now she's... Now she's very famous and she's on TV. And, and when I see her, I said, oh, my God. I, I should have said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes I'm eating like dinner with, with, with my wife and then she comes on like... 
And you know, one time my wife told me, she's pretty, huh? I'm, oh, yeah. Yeah. She. <laughs> yeah. <There. laughs> Thank you, Juanita. Yeah, yeah, she's all right. Yeah. Más o menos, Liz. Uh -huh. So now I said, man, I should have said yes. No, but no. No, mejor no, because I'm very happy. I love my wife very much. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave me the most beautiful son so no but you see uh, what I'm saying is a regret it doesn't have to be like something terrible it can be like man I should have asked for the triple burger not the double I should have asked for curly fries and not the normal yeah, fries the the I should best. have asked for onion rings <laughs> you know that's or like, oh man, I should have asked for Regia, not Pilsner. <laughs> I mean, something not, not, not like Regia. Regia is good. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow we're going to do the hypothetical. Okay. You okay, know. Good. Okay, so that's that's a little bit more complicated because I mean that that actually never happened, but I said if I had. If I, if I had had the opportunity, to my parents, I yeah. don't get exactly. If I had listened young. to my parents, I don't get married young, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This yes, is my probably. example for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. But if I hadn't listened to my parents, I wouldn't have gotten married. Yeah, because everything goes in past. That's what we're going okay. to do tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. Have a very good night. Thank good you. Night. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Thank you.